Well, that's it for the characters. And now for our second last round, let's look at what's almost as important to Astoria's characters, the location. This is Best Foxworth Hall. Now this one was really tough to decide upon because both versions seem to have opposite strengths and weaknesses to one another. The one the remake clearly shows that a good portion of its budget went into the cast. I mean, it never really looks like a set, but it just feels a bit small for what's supposed to be one of the biggest houses in all of Virginia. Everything from Crin's swan bed to the grand staircase, or even the attic upstairs, they're all about the size of what you'd find in an upper middle class home rather than a millionaire's mansion. However, the producers make the most of their budget limitations by having the design of the mansion strongly capture that grim atmosphere that the story is going for. All of the colors in the mansion are very dark and gothic and have a very unwelcoming vibe to them, almost as if the mansion itself is trying to say to the kids, You're not wanted here, you devil spawn. Piss off. The original seems to be the other extreme. While Foxworth Hall still looks nice, it's also somewhat generic. Nothing about the place stands out especially, or attempts to convey any sort of tone. But with that said, being a Hollywood movie, the original had the budget to build a much bigger and grander Foxworth Hall that seems much closer to the size of what a millionaire's estate should be. Everything about this place is enormous, not just in its scale, but also in terms of the locations it has to offer. The remake offers little more than what you'd find in a typical home. The one the 87 film has a ballroom, a chapel, a balcony, an elevator, a watchtower with snarling Doberman surrounded by a metal fence, a huge stone wall surrounding the estate, and these creepy animal statues outside the mansion. But as they say, quality is more important than quantity, and the remake clearly has a creepier edge to it, so it must be the winner, right? Well, as they also say, don't judge a book by its cover. Or a movie for that matter. Yeah, even though the new version looks threatening, that's really the only thing that actually is. The door may be locked, but the windows are wide open and no one's watching the place for the kids, so it's kind of hard to sympathize with them when escape seems so freaking easy. Sure, there's an electric fence that's put up around the place in the third act of the movie, but the kids turn it off with almost no trouble at all. The small size of Foxworth Hall also hampers its ability to make an effective prison. Kathy and Christopher go snooping around the mansion several times in the movie and can usually find their way around the place just fine without getting caught. Hell, Christopher even goes out through the front door in one scene! The attic itself is also not that high above the ground and it only takes the kids about 30 seconds to climb down with a rope. Yes, I know that the kids needed money before they could escape, but they still could have given us at least some major challenge for the kids to overcome getting out as well, not just turning off an electric fence with a switch. The original is a totally different story. The attic itself is at least seven floors above the ground, and the sheer size of the place just makes it seem like a huge maze. This makes finding the way out of the place much more lengthy and difficult, and Kathy and Christopher are usually caught pretty early on whenever they go snooping. The new locations added, like the watchtower, also help make escape more difficult, and the issue with the windows is fixed by having bars put over them. I also feel like the mansion's huge size helped convey other aspects of the story. Corinne's insanely huge swan bed and wardrobe really showcase how much her materialism had grown to this point. The huge size of the grandfather's bed also helped build the intensity of the scene where Corinne is about to be whipped. He just looks like a king on his throne preparing to watch a traitorous subject be executed. So, to wrap things up, while the new version can definitely be remembered for its creepy design and atmosphere, it just seemed a bit too small for its own good not only making it look a bit cheap, but also reducing that feeling of imprisonment that the audience is supposed to have. The massive Foxworth Hall in the 87 film just seemed higher budget and better equipped for the purpose of imprisoning people. Even though the book didn't have features like the watchtower or the bars on the window, this is another example of how more faithful does not always mean better. Even if it is a little generic looking, you can make the argument that this hides the true nature of the place much better than the new version. So, while there are advantages to both, the advantages of the original just seem a little more beneficial to the story. Point goes to the old.